Here we're going to be looking at solving simultaneous equations involving three unknowns. This is a leaving cert question, came up as a sample paper in 2013. So the first step is to label our three equations, one, two, and three, so we can refer to them later. And the strategy is to take two equations at a time. For example, here we're going to take one and two, and we eliminate one variable. Then after we've done that, we're going to take another two equations, for example, two and three, but it could be one and three, and we eliminate that same variable again. What we'll be left with is a situation where we've got two equations with two unknowns. Taking equation number one and two, I'm going to multiply the second line by minus one. This will allow me to take my unknown x in both equations, add equation one and two together. What happens now is that if the coefficients of x are equal but opposite, we can add the equations 1 and 2 together and it will eliminate x, hence the elimination method. 2x minus 2x is 0, 8y plus 3y is 11y, minus 3z minus 2z is minus 5z, and minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. So here we have a new equation in y and z. Now, the aim is to create another equation in y and z, and we repeat the process by eliminating another variable. So now I'm going to go back up to here and I'm going to take equation 2 and a 3 and I'm going to multiply equation 3 by minus 1 that will allow me to get rid of my x's again. So multiply equation 3 by minus 1 multiplying everything there by minus 1 and adding it on to equation 1 I'm left with 2x minus 2x which is 0 minus 3y minus y which is minus 4y and 2z minus z which is plus z and 2 minus 5 which is minus 3. This leaves me with another new equation in y and z which I've called 5. So now I'm going to take equation 4 and 5 together and I'm going to eliminate one variable. So I can see here I'm going to take equation 5 and multiply it by 5 because that will allow me to eliminate the z. So I'm going to rewrite equation 4 with nothing changed here and I'm going to then take equation 5 and multiply it by 5. And this leaves me with this equation here. Adding the two together, I'm left with minus 9y is equal to minus 18. Well, therefore, y must be equal to 2. Now I take that value of 2 for y, and I plug it back into either equation 4 or 5. Plug it into 4, and I'm left with z is equal to 5. So we're substituting that y here. We're just replacing that y with 2, and we're left with one equation in z, so z is equal to 5. Then we take any of the three equations from the very start, and we plug in our new values of z and y, and we're left with x is equal to minus 1. So it's a stepwise approach. Remember, first take two equations at a time, eliminate one of the variables, then take another two equations, eliminate a variable, I then create two new equations in two variables, repeat the process by eliminating one of the variables, and we should be left with an answer for one of our variables. So what this means is that these values here are the only three values that satisfy three equations.